talk about uh, you know Julia Computing and what we are doing, and uh, you know some of the things we plan to do. We are of course uh, excited to support JuliaCon, and it's fantastic to see the conference growing and uh, see it of a similar scale um, on the West Coast as as it was on the East Coast the last uh, couple of years. Um, first of all, I'd like to uh, you know introduce all of us at Julia Computing. Maybe either stand up or raise your hand so that everyone out here knows who we are. Like we are about 21 people. Um, many of us are here, so. Um, that's Julia Computing, and um, I'm also glad to announce that Andreas is going to join us shortly in a couple of months. Uh, uh, so we're, uh, you know, we're growing. Um, I think all of you have heard about our fundraise uh, that was, uh, you know, uh, trending at number one on Hacker News on Monday. So we raised 4.6 million dollars from a couple of uh, the best of uh, Boston VCs, uh, General Catalyst and Founder Collective who uh, you know, sort of see the same vision that we have uh, around uh, open source and numerical computing. Um, I have another amazing piece of information to announce at this point, um, and this is, this is news that we just got last evening, which is that the Sloan Foundation just uh, you know, gave us a grant for uh, $900,000 to continue supporting uh, you know, Julia in its uh, sort of race towards 1.0 and uh, making our compiler better and faster and doing a whole bunch of other improvements and keeping the open source project you know, alive and kicking and, and taking it to the next level. Um, so that's, that's a really exciting piece of uh, information. We'll be putting out a press release about that shortly. Um, so so it's, it's nice to see sort of uh, support uh, you know, from, the, you know, from the venture capital um, uh, community, from the, uh, you know, from the industrial foundations, from government, and most importantly, from many of our customers who are also present in the audience. Um, just to give a sense for you know, how we are going to you know, uh, approach many of these things going forward, uh, what, what some of these funds allow us to do is focus more on a product-oriented business rather than a consulting-oriented business, and that lets us put that much more effort into open source activities, into you know, making Julia what it should be in the open source community, but also put together products in certain industries that allow us to build a sustainable business so that we can sort of have this uh, you know, cross subsidy of the open source project from a reliably, uh, reliably growing business. And to that extent, we, while we started out next year with, uh, uh, sorry, while we started out last year with Julia Pro, um, some of you might have downloaded it and tried it out. It's, it's seeing lots of downloads on a regular basis. We then came out with Julia Run, which is sort of, uh, you know, while Julia Pro was the desktop product, Julia Run was the server side counterpart to Julia Pro and makes it easy for you to deploy your products and sort of run them at scale. And the idea was basically like, you know, do all the plumbing and the boring work that it takes to you know, build and deploy large scale Julia applications so that people can do all the fun stuff themselves. So that's the second thing that we put out. And uh, you know, many of you guys have been using Julia Box already. If you go to ng.juliabox.com right now, you should get, uh, you know, contrary to what you used to get before, which was a single core setup, you should get a multi-core setup and increasingly, um, uh, it will be possible to get even larger compute nodes and clusters so that you can do basically, um, I mean, I'm hoping the kind of stuff that Keno talked about can be made accessible and democratized for everyone to use. <laughs> Finally, um, you know, the last bit is that what, what we see as a business is that we need to sort of go into domains and solve business specific uh, problems. And, and that is where, um, you know, we see potential of higher revenues and uh, you know, businesses see the potential of higher value. And to that extent, we started our work on Julia Finn. Um, there were talks about some of the components on Julia Finn out here, and there's a bunch of stuff on our website. Um, we are seeing a huge amount of traction in the investment banking and the insurance industries, specifically around large scale simulations, Monte Carlo simulations, uh, regulatory reporting, uh, modeling purposes, Basel III, all sorts of sort of a soup of alphabetical names of compliance things where Julia really is best suited for uh, you know, being the best solution out there. So we hope that you know, with this product focused business that we are gonna, uh, you know, that we are gonna be able to uh, you know, grow fast and uh, you know, keep contributing back uh, to the open source community and uh, you know, to all of the wonderful stuff that we have out here. Thank you.